Hello tribe, welcome back to my channel. So today's topic is called the next chapter. Whenever you come across this video, you probably have noticed that my voice sounds different, but it's because I'm currently recovering from cold. And to be honest, I kind of like the way it sounds. Also, what I want to say, um, thanks to all of you who continuously support my channel, who've been here from the start, whoever has been with this channel from the beginning of it, can you leave a star emoji for me? I recognize some of your nicknames, but some of you, I know that you, you are quiet viewers. It would be interesting to see. Before we start, I'd like to say that this video is sponsored by Keen. Yes, you heard me talk about Keen before, but if you are new to this channel and you have no idea what I'm talking about, Keen is a platform where there are a lot of psychics, mediums, astrologists, tarot readers. Personally, what I like about Keen is that there's always someone online 24-7. On Keen, there are people from all over the world. You can see their picture, their description, their reviews, so you can get to know your psychic before you choose to have a reading with them. Right now, Keen has a promotion going. For any new member, it's only $1.99 for the first 10 minutes, which is up to $99 of savings. And I know the times are hard currently and people might be struggling financially. If you were in a need for a reading, I think this is a great chance to check them out. Choose your psychic intuitively, see who you connect to, take your time. If you want to check them out, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is to click the link down below, which I'll also provide on the screen. It's trykeen.com slash Brigitta instead of G number nine. Click get started. Choose your psychic. See if you want to use the call or chat option. Personally, when I tried Keen myself, I chose the chat option. I took my time to choose my psychic intuitively. I didn't overthink it though. I just went by my intuition and I was really glad whoever I chose to do my reading with. The person that I connected to, they were really quick with their response. So I was pretty happy. I didn't need a lot of time to talk to them in order to get my answers. And so far, I believe it's been one and a half year, if I'm correct, most of the predictions have come true. The last one that was on my mind recently, I just now realized that I'm already working on a certain project that would make that prediction come true if I completed it. So do not wait around for something to be handed to you. Act on it and meet universe halfway. I hope that this promotion that Kim currently offers will be beneficial to you guys and you will use this opportunity to save some money. The link is down below. It's trykeen.com slash Brigitta if you want to check it out and I hope that your questions will be answered. Let's get back to the video. So here are your options. Option one, two and three. Take your time, choose yours, use your intuition and I'm going to see in timestamps. Hello, group number one. Let's see what we have for you. The next chapter of your life. This is the El Goliath tarot deck, in case anyone will be asking. And this is one of the cards that he has in his deck that is supposed to be interpreted by a person who pulled it. So let me tap in and let me see what I'm picking up with this. I don't know why I heard this when I looked at this card. I heard all paths lead to Rome. Did you hear anyone say it to you lately? Um, the next chapter of your life, it feels like it's you're headed to a destination. This is going to be very metaphorical. You're headed to a destination that opens new possibilities for you. And it's a lot to do with a location for a lot of you. This could be a change of location in your work. This could be an actual move to another town, city, or country. But um, what I'm picking up here, somehow overall travel is going to be involved in the next chapter of your life. And it's almost as if I'm being shown a point, a starting point of your next chapter that's to do with movement. So you may be expect expecting changes around the time when you travel. Either you come back after that trip or um, maybe if you move your home, it's like you're opening a gate. I'm seeing a gate opening for you. And it's interesting because when I'm looking at that gate open, 
Now it changed to this image of a of black wooden door. I'm not able to see what's behind it, even if it's open. Um, it's mysterious to me. I have to, I'm being told, I have to take the steps forward in order to cross the threshold to see what's on the other side. So this, this next chapter of your life will require bravery and almost as if I'm stepping into the unknown. But all I know is that that's the right thing for me to do. And the feeling that I'm getting, I don't really, I'm not really looking back. I'm, I'm taking the beautiful experiences and memories with me. But that's all I want to have with me. I don't want to overburden myself with too, too many material things. This next chapter of your life feels to me um, a lot to do with experiences. It's, you're not very focused on, um, do I have a good car? Do I have a, a good perfume? It's not about that for you. It's about the experiences. And it feels like, for some of you, it may be scary because you're like, I don't know. I don't know what, you, what I'm going into. But for a lot of you, this is going to be very beneficial because you will be able to drop some of the baggage you have been carrying with you that's not providing any, any value to your life anymore. So a lot of you may be expecting trying new things in this next chapter of your life trying new things, um, cleaning out your home, reorganizing your house. I'm seeing bags full of stuff that is not needed that goes into trash. Some of the bags are being donated and it's like I'm reorganizing my, my life. And at the same time, I'm cleansing. I'm cleaning out what's not, what doesn't belong anymore. I don't want I'm hearing those things to continually collect dust. It just adds weight on my shoulders. So let's continue. Let's see. The next chapter of your life. Um, I want to use the triple goddess tarot in case anyone will be asking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You have the Seven of Pentacles. You have the Five of Cups. You have the five, double the five, the five of pentacles. I'm going to clarify these cards. Give me a sec. Let's clarify the seven of pens. We have the ace of pentacles. We have the six of cups on top of the five of cups. And we have the seven of cups on top of the five of pentacles. So see, there is a lot to do here in this next chapter of your life. A lot to do with your view on your material world. There is something changing in you. You are not, you don't want to look back. We talked about this, right? Looking back with the five of cups and six of cups, it just bring, it brings back some of the things that you don't want or doing the same thing again it's not going to be helpful for a better tomorrow and you know this you you want to try new things especially when it comes to your work or your finances in this next chapter of your life what's important is to focus on your well-being but it's not about 
how how much can i earn to buy this house that i want it's more so you looking at the relationship that you have with money what is money what does money mean to me how can i use it do i want to use it um getting more stuff that's going to collect dust or do i want to invest in it somewhere do i want to use it for a different cause do i want to invest in my health instead of that i don't know vase that cost three thousand dollars you know it's you approaching in this next chapter of your life money and work slightly differently than you used to and you're going to get light bulb moments along the way because you're going to realize some of the things that you used to do that were actually not helpful when it comes to you feeling abundant even if you had money or you had a job you still some of you didn't feel financially abundant like you wanted to feel and it's like you're unlocking some of the information you're going deep it feels like you're going deep to understand what kind of choices you are making so far and what kind of choices you'll be making moving forward you don't want to feel the same way and therefore you're reviewing your opportunities you're like okay what do i want next in my life what do i need i can buy any of these cups what am i in need of right now i'm aware that i don't want all of them because it would just confuse me i want to focus on one thing at a time and do it well if that makes any sense to you guys mm -hmm. There will be also a chapter when you will take the time to process your sadness because I'm seeing that some of you are holding on to sadness or maybe grief. And you will travel back. It's like in your memory, you're going back to revisit only the memories that are still unresolved in some way. Or if you are trying to run away from processing them, there will be a time in the next chapter of your life to revisit it for a purpose. Not to revisit it just to get sad again, but to figure something out or to release or to digest the emotions. You also in this next chapter of your life are noticing what kind of financial lessons you you had for the past couple of years something has happened financially that you didn't expect that you didn't see coming that somehow saddened you or made you feel at a loss and you're gonna be reviewing that time you're like okay why did i have to go through that what does it mean to me and how can i improve Okay. A lot of you are going to want to do something creative. Say, even if your job was um, require, requiring logical thinking, it's like your perspective changes slightly or your soul is going to be like, hey, I want to do I want you to do something creative. Your soul is nudging you to focus on creativity in some way, and I feel like a lot of beautiful things can be created if you allow yourself to jump into that. It's like the the feeling of I don't have enough sparks a new interest or um, it inspires you this difficult time inspires you to do better and creative ideas me start flowing in take note of that and act on them 
it's as if in this next chapter you're learning how to have a better relationship with money someone was approaching money from a slightly distorted perspective or maybe something that they picked up when they were growing up and it doesn't apply in their life anymore but they keep using the same technique the same structure the same way of thinking so i'm going to extend this on patreon and see what's happening next if you want to find me there but thank you very much for passing by if you want to join the tribe subscribe i'll catch you in the next one bye Hello, group number two. Let's see what we have for you in the next chapter of your life. Oh, that's going to be a very adventurous chapter of your life. Pile number two. It feels like you are craving for freedom. And I keep getting three months, more or less three months from now. You want to be carefree. You want to experience life overall. The joy, the sadness, all of it, all of it. It's, you're not picky. You're like, give me adventure. I want to be adventurous. And I think for a lot of you, I wouldn't be surprised if you change your lifestyle or if you wanted to change your lifestyle. Um, for example, just pack your bags, um, buy a van and just travel the world for some time. Or that's an extreme, right? Um, or something similar. You just in general want to change the way you live. And it seems like you're not overthinking. You're not overthinking. You understand that you are here for a short time and you want to take everything from life. This chapter of your life may surprise you and some other people because I feel like some of you have lived a very opposite life where maybe you had everything very... Um, very organized. Every the, Your routine was repetitive but you liked it you are good with it you are disciplined and now in this next chapter of your life it's as if your soul is calling you to be careless wild some of you are going to take the boxes i'm seeing like i'm seeing a page and someone has written down their goals, something that one day I will do. For example, I want to climb this mountain. And that goal was in their diary for like the past five years. And in this next chapter of their life, they're like, listen, if I don't do it now, I'll never do it. And I will look back at my time when I still had energy. Um, and I still was able, my body was still able to do the things that I wanted and I'm going to regret it. So I have to live my life this year. I keep getting this year. This is the year when I'm going to do things that I wanted to do. I'm not going to wait for the next year. I'm not going to wait four or five years from now when something is going to be better. I don't know if it's going to be better or not. I don't know when I'm going to be ready for it. All I know is that I have today and I have my, I keep getting my youthful energy with me still. Where I don't know what's going to happen in the future. I don't know how much energy and strength I'm, I will have 5, 10, 20 years from now. So the next chapter of your life is about exploration. Exploration and freedom. Let's use the Superlunaris Tarot and let's see what we have. Next chapter of your life. We're getting a bit of a backstory here. Mm -hmm. Some of you are realizing soon enough that something that you've been doing wasn't helping your ment wasn't helping you mentally, or the change that you are in need of is going to help you feel much better, stronger mentally. Some of you have been suffering mentally or emotionally or both uh, because you felt like you were not living your life fully. 
and you were craving for experiences that um, you felt like were outside of your reach. But in reality, you were the one who could go for those experiences yourself. It's like you're pressing the restart button here. We're going from Nine of Swords to the King of Swords. So a lot of you are going to find yourselves focusing on your mental state. And that's going to take you towards this need and want to change something about your routine or your lifestyle. You are pinpointing what wasn't helpful for you or what you had that wasn't fulfilling your soul in any way. And you want to do better. You want to live your life in a more colorful way and you're answering that call like it's so calling okay one more story we have Judgment King of Swords and we have the Four of Swords here. What I want to say with this, I'm picking up that some of you may want to go on a retreat or to be a creator of a retreat of some sort. I'm calling it a retreat, but it could be anything that's to do with making, feel, making people feel joyful, making people feel spiritually connected, making people feel free. I wouldn't be surprised if part number two were the ones who'd come up with an idea that would help people to overcome some of, some of the things that they have overcome already. So it's as if you are going on this journey looking for something that you personally need in order for you to feel stronger or to feel more mentally or emotionally stable. And on this journey, you are the one who has an idea how to help yourself, what you are in need of, which place you want to explore, or where you need to be. And then you're like, damn, but what if I could do it better? What if I could add my own spice to this thing, this business, this retreat, and make it my own? Why can't I come up with something that would be helpful to people? But it's going to be my own thing. It's like you are going on to this journey of spirituality, but at the same time, it's just, it's very natural. It's very organic how you're going to find yourself focusing on some sort of business or contract that... That's going to open the doors, open doors for other people to come in. But it starts with you first. It's not that you're thinking of business first. You're looking for an outlet or you're looking for healing. You're looking for ways how to strengthen your mental or emotional state. And you come across something that is of value to you and you are deciding to do something with it yourself. Let's see the next chapter of your life. I'm also seeing someone um, wanting to learn martial arts. It's something to do with movement. It doesn't have to be martial arts, but you want to learn maybe about your body more or what your body is capable of. And there is going to be one person who will be influential on this journey. Maybe you're going to meet them first and then you're going to learn something from them. Um, but this could be vice versa, actually. Overall, you focused on your body and how your body moves and what it's capable of. Um, this next chapter of your life overall, to me, feels 
a lot to do with self-healing. Either strengthening your physical body, your mental body, or both, right? The moment we start focusing on discipline, strengthening our physical bodies, our mental state improves. So it's all very connected here. I'm seeing sp you spending some more time outdoors or spending time in a healthier environment, whatever that means to you. And you are the one who chooses to do so. For some people, it may feel like it's out of the blue or it may feel very unexpected or strange even what you are deciding to do or what kind of techniques you are exploring. But for you, it makes perfect sense because you see the results. So I'm going to extend this on Patreon. Um, if you want to find me on the other side, all links are down below. Thank you for passing by. If you want to join the tribe, subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Hey, group number three, let's see the next chapter of your life. What is going on? We have Eight of Pentacles, the Patient Weaver. By the way, this deck is the Oil Goliath deck, in case anyone will be asking. Mm -hmm. This next chapter of your life, um, it feels like it's a bit... Now, it's not in a bad sense. It's a bit slower. You are becoming much more patient. You're not all over the place and I'm saying that because I'm getting that some people were trying to um, achieve their goals so fast over time or they've lost focus where this next chapter of their life will be very present um, much more present much more focus I'm seeing you dedicate your time focusing on one thing at a time not wanting to be in all places at once if that makes any sense I'm also seeing that you have your eyes on a prize, whatever that means to you right now. And I feel like um, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. You have a very specific goal that you want to achieve and you're investing your time, energy, and you're very dedicated to it, which is good stuff. It feels like you know where you're going. You know that that's within your reach and you're going to do everything in order to get it. And, you know, you're going to get rewards for the work that you put in. That is for sure. It has taken some time for the spider to be patient, um, to work on the prey, right? And to get what it wanted. So let's get more cards and let's see what else we have here for you. And I want to use the steampunk tarot for this portion of the reading. Next chapter of your life. You have the two of wands and again look at the images here um this guy is already holding what he wanted it's almost as if you are making important decisions you're very strategic how you're going to get from point a to point b you have the lovers you have the king of pentacles now this could be connected to a relationship it could be platonic romantic um, business doesn't matter but along the way i'm seeing you meeting a person or maybe you're already in the presence of this person you both feels like you have a similar goal in mind um, there is something that connects you two very well together it could be the same vision for life or it could be a project or something that you're both going to be working on next chapter of your life we have the seven of swords you have the page of cups you have the four of swords now those who plan in a family i'm seeing you getting pregnant um that's just for a couple of you and um some of you may get pregnant very unexpectedly here as well uh, this is for only those who have a partner already or 
I want to say a serious partner. Um, what you don't see coming in this next chapter of your life is that you're giving birth to something and you're going to have a period of time. So it's like two stories. One period of time where you are focusing and dedicated in order to get what you want and you're very invested in your goal. But at the same time, something unexpected may happen where you're going to have to take some time off in order to rest and in order to feed the fetus I'm getting or whatever that you're about to birth. Let's come back to the general reading. We have the Three of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. It feels like you are finding something important along the way on this next chapter. And for a lot of you, bottom of the deck, we have a Ten of Cups. This next chapter of your life, it's connected to two parts. One of them, you're working on your goal. And as you're working on your goal, you may meet someone very important in the future, especially if you're single right now. I feel like you're finding a relationship or you're strengthening an existing relationship and having a stronger bond than before. It's a lot to do with us, what I'm getting. We both match very well together. We both have the same vision. We both want the best out of life. So how about we team up, we commit to each other, or some of you may get engaged even, uh, give birth to a child, you then focus on your family life, right? How about we team up? And it feels like you have a very strong partnership with someone here in particular. Especially my singles, a lot of people here will be finding your life's partner in this next chapter of your life. And I'm not saying it lightly. It's around the time when you're going to be pretty busy, I'm seeing. And we talked about this, right? We talked about this. Make sure that you don't burn out. Yes, seek for your dreams and goals, but take time to rest and rejuvenate because that's going to be needed. What else? We have falling out of a deck. We have the Queen of Swords. We have the Devil. That's exactly what I said. Don't burn out. Nine of Swords and the Devil. Look at the imagery in this Devil card, right? Keep feeding what you want, right? Keep feeding this uh, fire with the wood, but make sure that you have enough wood to give to provide to that fire. Take time to rest. Mm, do not come back to the... Um, to bad habits I'm also getting. Those that somehow hurt your system or make your immune system um, weaker. So you're going to have to watch it because you're going to be on fire, right? Look, as I'm shuffling, you're going to be on fire. You will want to go, 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 go. But at the same time, you're going to have to find balance. Tap and say, okay, let me rejuvenate. Let me rest or let me ask for help. And then let's continue moving forward. What is the highlight of the next chapter of your life? What is the highlight of the next chapter of your life? We have the Eight of Wands. We have double the Eight. Mm -hmm. You're going to realize as well who you're going to want to walk with. There is one particular person who may become distant in this next chapter of your life. And I feel like it's going to be your choice and your decision. I'm hearing um, this person is here to stay, but that person, I feel like we need to spend a bit less time together. And um, I'm not being shown exactly what kind of relationship this is. It doesn't really matter in this reading. I'm just being shown that someone made you feel confused in the past or will be making you confused mm, continuously. And you'll be like, I don't know, like every time around, I'm around this person, I'm very confused and I feel like my energy is all over the place or I question myself so much and I'm not feeling confident once I'm around them because of something that they may do or um, because you deep down know that you're not supposed to be around this person and it's not to say that they're a bad person but something is off between you and them and you're going to decide to um, either separate or spend a little less time together.
Oof, the deck is all over me. <laughs> but I feel like I want to take these three cards that fell out. Mm -hmm. You are not afraid of competition and you're not afraid to commit to something in this next chapter of your life. I'm hearing you say, I'm going to do whatever it takes. I'm going to, I'm going to wait it out until I feel like I am, I'm ready or until I feel like I can see the whole image. I'm hearing, I cannot, I cannot take one step and expect the whole image to be, to be revealed to me. I need to explore this. So would it be business, for example, I want to continuously put time in this to see how it goes instead of just starting it and seeing, ah, it doesn't work. Um, I can't see the whole picture if I jump out of it or if I dismiss it straight away. Same would go for a relationship. I want to invest more time in this and see how it goes in order for me to have a clear vision. I'm going to extend this on Patreon if you want to find me on the other side. But thank you for joining me here today. And if you are new to the tribe, subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.